This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. In progress. Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem. Baruchim Habayim. We're continuing in Mishnah Burah. Dafashro. We're starting Simen Samach. We're beginning uh, actually up to Samach. Ice Bay. Sif Bays. Simen Samach. Sif Bays. Kara Kriyashma Beloi Bracha. Let's say you said Shema without a bracha. Yatsa Yidei Chavas Krishna. You fulfilled the obligation of Krishna. So the bracha is not Ma'akev. Then what do you do? V'chayzer B'kari Ha'brachas B'loi Krishna. Then you go back and you say the brachas without Krishna. It says, M'chaber V'nira Li Sh'toiv L'achsar V'likros Krishna Im Ha'brachas. In my opinion, it would seem that it's better to go back and say Krishna with the brachas. So the first time he said Krishna without the brachas, so it was Krishna. He has to go back and say the brachas. He's not required to say Krishna. This is the opinion of the riff. Um, the din that you do not have to go back and say Krishna is uh, the Shita of Rav Haigoin and the Rajbah. But the Mechaber himself says it's better to repeat the Kriyishma when you're saying the Brachais. Says the Mishnabura, V'choyzer v'koyre, v'chulu, v'tzolaymar, meaning to say, Afagav de'enon ma'akvois l'kriyishma. That means to say, even though the Brachais are not ma'akiv kriyishma, v'yotzi de choyves kriyishma, afem loy berklal, and you're yotzi the chiv of kriyishma, even though you didn't make the brach at all, kamakum yidei choyves brachas loyotza. You didn't, you were not you say the chiyav of the Birchas Krishma because there's a mitzvah there's a mitzvah of Sheva Bayam Hilal Ticha. So you said the Krishma, but you didn't make the Brachis. The Yachalavarich Beloy Krishma. And you'd be able to be Mavarich without Krishma. Kiloy Niskinu Davka Krishma. The Brachis were not enacted Davka and Krishma. Shain Mavarich Asher Kidashanu the Mitzvah of Tzivanu. You're not saying Asher Kidashanu. They're Brachis Bifnei Asmam. They're not Davka on Krishma. By the way, the the Mishnah said earlier in Sivkaton Chafei and Simen Nun Ches that Legabe Bircha the Zman of Birchas Krishma. The Zman of Birchas Krishma is not the end of the third hour, like is the Zman of Krishma itself. It's the end of the fourth hour, which is the Zman of Tefillah. Why? Because even though they're Masakin to say Birchas Krishma before Krishma, they're not Brachas on Krishma. The Haraya, you don't say Asher Kedeshanu. That's why Mishabura also wrote, the Minhag is to be Masayim Ahavaraba before the Shatz and to answer Amen. And it's not considered a Hefsik. Why? Because um, it's not considered a Birchas Krishma. Now, it's interesting. Um, if we could review for a moment, what is the correct procedure regarding answering Amen at the end of Habayich Rama Yisobi Ahava? So the Mechaber said not to because it's a Hefsik. Right? The Shita of the Mechaber is that it's a, he- a Hefsik. Um, but the Rama said, no, look in Simen Samachalaf and Siv Gimel in the Haga, that Habar Chabama Yisrael, the Minhag is not to do that. The Minhag is to be Messiahim before the Shriach Tzibor and to answer Amen. And the reason is because Berchas Krishma is not doing it to Berchas HaMitzvah. So the Mechaber, we're pointing out, the Mechaber, d- it's, it's a little bit of an inconsistency because the Shita of the Mechaber is that there is an element of Birchas HaMitzvah when it comes to Birchas Krishma. That's why the Mechaber said that uh, not to answer Amen after Habach HaBayama I mean, think about it. It's a little bit of a stira. The Mechaber Shita is don't answer Amen after Habach HaBayama because you don't want to be mafsik between the Bracha and the Mitzvah of Krishma. So then how is that consistent with what the... Uh, with... The, with what we're learning over here, that v'choyzer v'kari ha'brachos b'loi kriyishma. And here the Mishnah Baruch explains why. Because it's not a berchas ha'mitzvah. The answer is, no, it's the mechaber l'shitase. Listen to this. That's why the mechaber says, v'nira li sh'toiv lachzor v'likrois kriyishma ha'brachos. That's why the mechaber says, in my opinion, 
it would be better to repeat the Shema. So I don't think we're able to do this, but, but according to what we just said, we would be arguing with the Mishnah Bura. Why? Because the Mishnah Bura says, what's Pshad in the Mechaber, that you should say Shema again, says um, the Mishnah Bura, Kedei Lamaid B'tfila Mitoich Devrei Torah, in order to be Oimeid, of Tishman Esra Mitoich Devrei Torah, Kriya Shema Azu Nechshavus Kekar B'Torah, this Kriya Shema is like uh, reading the Torah, That, perhaps there's a different reason why you should say Shema. Because the shita of the Mechaber is that Berchus Kirishma is a Berchus HaMitzvah. And, right, the Mechaber L'Shitase holds you're not supposed to answer, I mean, between uh, Berchus Kirishma and Kirishma because it's a Berchus HaMitzvah. So the Mishnah Baruch should have said, well, the reason why you should say Shema again is because you need to say... Um, the brachos on the Kriyashma. Now the answer is the Mishnah Baruch couldn't have said that because you're still not going to be saying the brachos Kriyashma on the mitzvah because you already were mekayim the mitzvah. So it's not a reason to say Shema again to say the brachos on a mitzvah. You already mekayim the mitzvah. Although the Dershu points out that later on in the Bir Halach and Simon Reish Lamet, uh, later on in Simon Samach Vav, the Mishnah Baruch says the reason to repeat Shema is. Kriya Shema Bali Berchay Seha Eno Kesikuna. I mean, the brachos are not being said in their right, in their proper tikkun. In other words, that, that might be more uh, in line with the Shita of the Machaber, that Berchas Kriya Shema are in a certain sense Berchas Hamitzvah. But we do, we, we, we should point out the Shita of the Rama is that you are allowed to answer Amen. After Haboycher Ba'amo Yisrael Be'ahava, and Birchos Kriyshma are Bechlal not a Birchos Hamitzvah, and you don't say Asher Kedeshanu, they're Birchos Lifnei Atzma, and therefore you answer Amen. And all the Achreinim go uh, follow the Rama. That if you finish Haboycher Ba'amo Yisrael Be'ahava, you are required to answer Amen. Lechatchila, it's better to um, be Messiahim together with the Shliach Tzibur. You hear this? Halach Lamaisa, let's review this. Halach Lamaisa. If you fin- say the words, Haboycher ba'amo Yisrael b'yahava, and the Chazan didn't say it yet, you must answer Amen. That's the Halacha. Who says that? Everybody. All the Achroinim. That's what the, the way the Mishnah comes out. It's better to, um, to finish in unison with the Chazan. But if you didn't, you're required to answer Amen. If you did not, you would be Required to answer Amen. Ah, then uh, uh, here's another thing. Not only that, if you already said Shema before the davening, remember this? So now it's for sure not a Berchus HaMitzvah. Then you're required not to finish together with the Chazan and to answer Amen. People are not aware of this. You hear this? Nor, okay, l'chadchila, if you were not yet in the midst of Shema, you should f- uh, finish the bracha in unison with the chazin in deference to the mechaber. If you forgot to, you're required to answer Amen. If it's a Shabbos morning and you're ready to kriya Shema, then why should you finish in, in, um, before the chazin? It's for sure not a bracha sa mitzvah. You should dafka not finish before the chazin. You should dafka, um, you should dafka, excuse me, finish before the Chazin, in order to answer Amen um, to his bracha. Okay. Says the Mishnah Bura, Im ha-brachas le'elam b'tfilom b'tach de v'etar, kriya shema azu nechshavas kekoyre b'tayra. Okay, what if somebody is saying Shema B'Echidus? And if he would say Shema another time, he's going to lose out to the B'Tzibar. Like this. Let's say like this. You're davening in a, a shul in America, Shabbos morning, they daven 9 o'clock. So you said Shema earlier. You get to shul and their mom is skipping, they're, 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 go, they're speeding through the davening. If you're going to say Shema another time, you're not going to make Shema Esri with the Tzibor. Says Rav Shema Zalman, skip Shema. Don't say Shema. 
Why? It's more important to Davin Betzibor. What's the only reason you're repeating, repeating Kriya Shema again? Only you should be oimed mitoich divrei Torah. So that's the only reason. Well, that's not more important than davening with the tzibar. I would humbly think that the halacha is differently. Because we just quoted from the, the Dir Shubrut that later on the Mishnah Bura says that uh, to say Birchos Krishna without Shema is not Kitikuna. It's not Kitikuna to say Birchos Krishna without Shema. So even though this, the, so the Shema is more than being Oymed Latfila Mitach Devei Taira, but rather the, uh, the Kriya Shema is in order that the Bracha should be Kitikuna. So he brings that Rabbi Sion Abishol also says, skip Shema. Rabbi Chaim Kinevsky says, don't, don't skip Shema. Very interesting question. It's, very, it's actually pretty uh, relevant. You know? Anyway, weiter. Sif Gimel. Seder Habrachos Enoi Ma'akev. Shem Hiktim Shniel Rishon Yatsi Dechavis Brachos. If you flip the Brachos around, you first said Ahav Araba, and then you said Yotzarar Uvarei Choshech. Um, you flip it around. Okay. Says the Mishnah Brua Shniel Rishon Vodin Am Amar Brachos Emes Viyatsev Kodim Kriya Shema. Let's say you said Emes Viyatsev before. You did three before and one after. Oish Elo Habrachos Amar Achar Kriya Shema. Or you said all the brachas after, ayafilu achar atfilu, or even after davening. Yatsa b'diyavad. Vim berach bracha achas, ushni aloi berach klal, yaitsa miya yidei chavazav, hisha berach. At least you get credit for the bracha that you made. Va'ayin b'bir halacha. By the way, the Prima Gadim says, let's say you're right before this man tefillah, and there's not enough time to say both brachas before Kriya Shema. So just say one of them. Just say one of them. And Davin Shema Esrei. Um, let's see quickly the Bir Halacha She'im Hikdim. Ayin b'Mishnah Bura b'Sivkatan Vav b'Masha Kasavnu v'Im Beirech that if you made only one of them and the second one you didn't make at all then you're going to say that one. Loi mi ba'i koin to Shulchan who says in Sif Beis that the brachas are not ma'akiv, the kriyashima, not like Rav Haigain, they're definitely not ma'akiv each other. But even according to Rav Haigain, who says the brachas are ma'akiv zuesu, that's only to betzibor, not biyachid. Okay, Rabbi, say, let's hold it over here. Yashukayach to Rabbi Yeager for giving the Dvar Halacha on Monday and Tuesday. Good to see everyone. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a big day. Mitzvahs Tzrichos Kavana or Mitzvahs Ein Tzrichos Kavana. Yeah? Shkoyach everyone. Kal Tov. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.